initial thoughts, I guess? Um, obviously, you know, the result wasn't what we wanted, but this is the way we played was, was really, not eerie, but just really, I thought was our worst performance this season, definitely, even including Salt Lake. Um, just from the opening whistle, we didn't seem to have any real idea and, and some, some scrappiness, so it was, it was really disappointing. It seems like you're still struggling with a starting 11. Is that the way you see it? Not really. I mean, I thought that, um, you know, the chance to give players a game is, is always there. It's not like you know, the players that come out were playing badly or or, or not. But, um, you know, for us to, to use guys that have looked good in training and look sharp, you know, i.e. Scott Seeley, and, um, you know, you give them a chance to play. And, you know, the, the, obviously the players have to take it and earn the right to play. So, um just disappointed really from, from the whole club side of it. It's a, it's a massive game for us and we, we, we just lay down and died to be honest, you know, especially first half. Didn't look like we um, had any cohesion at all. But just disappointed because we worked hard you know, a lot during the week and talked about what we were trying to do with the ball and, and all the things that go into playing well and, and we didn't do it. So, disappointing. Obviously, Frank, you emptied the bench in terms of offensive players. How disappointing is it in the second half still not to get more than one shot at all? Um, I think I think if you look at the game, you know, you've got to give Seattle some credit. They're they're, they're a good side. They play well. Um, thought they kept the ball well, broke pretty good. And defensively, they were solid. So it didn't give us tons of looks, but we just didn't move the ball quickly. I, 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 we were reacting to everything rather than anticipating. There's a big difference there. You know, you've got to anticipate and, and be on the move and and read plays rather than wait, then react wherever the ball goes. It's too late. So we're very static and, and on our heels most of the game. Is that a danger of falling into that when you play the counterattacking style because you are having to react? To yeah, well, it seems like we're better away Sorry. from home. But uh, you know, when we come at home, we gotta we gotta make the game. We, we, we can't do it. And you know, we, we're trying to play a certain way, and it's you know, I don't know what that is right now because you know, we try to do, say the right things, what we gotta do with the ball, and play forward early if we can, and and support the f two front two and run beyond, and all those things that we when we are playing well, we do well. But um, you know, tonight we didn't do anything well, really. It seems like the linkage between the field and the forward line is, is still not there. No. Yeah, just, just what can you do about that? Well, we can either look at other players that play in there, or we can just work on the guys we have. We could, you know, just the, the, the little in between spaces we we are not using well, and we're not using the ball well once we are in there. I mean, you know, you could play a different system, you can do whatever you want to do, but in the end, our players have got to, you know, accept the responsibility when they have the ball. You know, and you know, I'm not singling anybody out because everybody was in the same boat um, tonight. We just didn't look that we were playing with confidence. Didn't look like we um, didn't deserve to win the game at all. And I think that was the, the alarming, disappointing part for me. Thanks, Frank. Thank you. Thank you.